and welcome to another Simon Says Stamp video. Today I'm going to be using a few supplies from Studio Calico's new line. And this card started out with uh, this as inspiration. These little wood veneer pieces. There's bikes and sailboats and cars and things like that. I thought it would be a really fun card to make for someone who likes to travel or someone who's just away from home right now. So um, I've taken some... Nina Desert Storm Environmental Cardstock. It's my favorite craft cardstock. And I cut it so it's four and a quarter wide by 11 inches tall. And then I'm going to use my Martha Stewart Craft Scoring Board to score it into a regular A2 sized card. So I'm going to score it at five and a half. And I can just fold that in half and crease that really well with the bone folder. And there's our card front. So I've done a little bit of prep work. I've taken some pattern paper from Studio Calico's Abroad collection. These are the 12 by 12 papers. And I cut a three and three quarter inch circle with my Martha Stewart Craft Simple Circle Cutter. And I'm going to adhere that to this side of the card. And I'll just use my Zyron Mega Runner for that. And it's gonna hang over the edge just a little bit. Now I've cut another piece of pattern paper and what this was was I trimmed um, the edge to four inches and then I cut out a circle that was exactly four inches right on the edge and that's because I'm going to kind of nest it in here with this circle. I'm going to put it in just like that so there's just going to be a little bit of a gap around that other circle. So I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive and I'm just going to get adhesive all along this edge and then I'm going to come over here and go right along that edge right there and that should be enough to hold everything down. All right just like that and I'm going to cut off this edge and I'm going to select the shapes I'm going to use. I wanted to use a car and, and pro probably a boat and an airplane. And they have different sizes of all the shapes, so you kind of have to look for the best one. Maybe I'll do a bike. There we go. I'll do car, bike, and plane. All right, I'm going to put this on this paper right here, but I'm going to see how much space I need because I'm going to do a little bit of writing right below. So I'm going to take my pencil, and I think I could probably cut it right here. All right, I'm going to see. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down. I'm just going to use a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue. You could also use glossy accents or anything like that. I'm going to take my white gel pen and the scent I have planned is wherever you go and then I'm going to stamp one that says I love you. You can also stop it out if I miss you. But So this is going to say wherever you go. Actually I don't like how that's written so I'm just going to trim this off. Those lines on the paper give me a good guide. All right, and then I'm going to cut this at an angle. All right, just like that. All right, I'm going to use this red that's on the edge of this paper. It's on the other side of this. I'm just going to cut that off and use this area. So I'm going to write in wherever you go. All right, and then the last little bit of the sentiment I'm going to put on this paper, but I'm going to emboss it. All right, this stamp set is from Hero Arts. I'm, if you could do I miss you or I love you or anything like that or thank you, I'm going to do I love you. All right, with my EK Success powder tool, I'm just going to put a little bit of powder up here in the top corner and then Versamark ink. Alright, 
so then now I have that little strip right there. All right, so now I'm going to assemble all of this onto the card and I'm going to adhere them all down straight onto the card except I'm gonna put this one on dimensional adhesive. I'm gonna use my T-square ruler to get this on straight. Lovely. And then I can get these other ones on there super straight as well. All right, I'm going to use the yellow we are member keepers corner chopper. I'm going to use the 3 8 corner. I'm going to take this corner and this one as well. And that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.